Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Tuesday, April the 20th, and I'm just outside here. I'm just looking at my HF Buddy Pole antenna, and we're going to go inside and we're going to look at the various versions of the RTL. What we have here are the three versions of the RTL. This version here is the first version I got about eight years ago. It's plastic, it's quite lightweight. It goes uh, from about 25 megs up to 1.7 gigs. It comes with a small little antenna here that has a magnet in the bottom. I'm using it right now. Um, I, I use the uh, this kind of magnet antenna to stick on a metal light next to my couch, and I look at uh, I look at uh, ADSB transmissions with that. Uh, this guy here is the second version. This is the uh, second version of RTL. It's got a metal case. Incidentally, this this version here has an MCX connector. It's a little bit of an oddball connector, but it works well with this antenna. You can get an adapter for that as well. So that's the second version here. It has an SMA connector, and I use it normally with a Hammett Up converter to receive HF. I didn't get one with the Bias T, so I use uh, an extra cable here to get USB power to this. It has an SMA connector as well. And this is the third version. A lot of people have been telling me about this. Joseph and Dan uh, have asked me if I had one of these and I said I didn't but I got one so I'm quite curious to see how it works. With this version here you don't need the uh, up converter. Uh, it uses direct sampling. We'll see that in a minute. Uh, this guy here is a um, an adapter. If you've got a UHF connector on your VHF antenna, your HF antenna, that you can get this adapter here which is a UHF female to SMA and it'll go on there. Uh, right now I've got a BNC to SMA adapter. So let's go on to the computer and just see how this uh, version 3 uh, boots up. Okay, so I've got the uh, version 3 RTL, the one that doesn't have the up converter. It's built, it uses direct uh, sampling inside. So let's, uh, let's go to SDR Sharp and just see how that uh, comes together here. So the first thing we have to do is we've got to go into the tools here and so it picked out the unit, RTL2832U OEM. Uh, but what we have to do down here is normally, uh, this is on quadrature sampling. What you have to do here is you've got to set this on direct sampling Q branch. Okay, if you want to use it in the, this is for the HF only. So, so like 500 kilohertz up to 28 megs. So we'll close that. And um, before I had the up converter, so I had the shift in there of 125 megahertz. I've turned that off. So let's uh, turn this on here. All right, so we've got a lot of short wave stations there. Let's just uh, expand this a little bit. So right now I'm listening to um, Sounds like a religious station on 13.605 megahertz. And I've set it at AM there. So we've got a picture of that. Let's, uh, let's go back to the uh, up converter with the uh, version two and see how it receives the same signal. Okay, so I've got the version two on there. Let's see what happens now. I'll start this again. Okay. So I'm going to go to quadrature sampling. I'm going to put in about 20 dB of gain. And I'm going to put my shift back. I'm going to need my shift. So let's go here. So there's the same signal uh, with the version 2, and it's pretty, pretty similar. Um, I'd have to play around with, with uh, the version 3 a lot more to... Um, to see how well it compares to the uh, version two. It'd be interesting to do some fax decodes, but it looks pretty good. Um, and of course the advantage of the version three is that it's just in one package. You don't have the two packages. So there we go. Just a quick overview of uh, version one, two, and three of the RTL SDR.